Hey everyone, welcome to your Saturday weather briefing. Let's dive into what you can expect over the next seven days here in Alabama and get an update on the tropics. You will definitely need an umbrella at times this weekend. A flood watch continues until Sunday morning for nearly all of North Alabama except for the easternmost counties and for much of central Alabama except for the southwestern counties. Some locations in the watch area could receive two to four inches of rainfall while the rest of the area may see an inch or less through tomorrow evening. Rain rates have already started to increase this morning and they will continue to rise as we get warmer and a little more unstable. Rain will be very likely along and north of a line from Hamilton to Clanton to Eufaula, while rain chances quickly drop as you move southwest. With the cloud cover and rainfall, highs will be held in check only reaching the mid-70s to the mid-80s. The good news is that severe weather is not likely today. Rain and storms will continue to be an issue on Sunday across the area as rain will be likely for the central and eastern parts and very likely for the western parts of central Alabama. No severe weather is expected, but rain may be heavy at times. Highs in the mid to upper 70s. The remnants of Francine will continue to pester us on Monday, keeping elevated rain and thunderstorm chances in the forecast. Once again, no threat for severe weather, but rainfall may be heavy in thunderstorms. Highs in the upper 70s to the lower 80s. A trough over the southeast will help push a surface front through central Alabama on Tuesday, leading to drier air moving into the area from the north. We'll only have a slight chance of a few isolated showers and storms. Highs in the lower to mid 80s. We'll have a northerly flow across the area on Wednesday that will keep us mainly sunny and dry. Highs will be in the lower to mid 80s. Sunny skies and warm again on Thursday with highs in the mid to upper 80s. And at the end of the forecast period, sunny skies prevail with highs in the mid to upper 80s on Friday. Now taking a look at the tropics. Offshore from the southeastern U.S., a new low pressure system is expected to develop this weekend along a weather front a few hundred miles out to sea. This system could start to show subtropical or tropical features as it moves over the warm waters of the Gulf Stream. By early next week, it might become a subtropical or tropical depression or storm as it heads generally northwest toward the coast. There's a 30% chance this system will form in the next 48 hours and increases to 50% over the next seven days. And Tropical Storm Gordon is currently moving west-northwest at about 9 miles per hour over the open ocean. It's expected to slow down and possibly shift to a more westward or west-southwestward path over the next few days. Right now, Gordon has a maximum sustained wind of 45 miles per hour with stronger gusts. Some weakening is likely in the next day or so and is predicted to become a depression by early Sunday. However, it might start to strengthen again by the middle of next week. That's your weather update for now. Keep checking in for more updates on today's weather, especially if you are in a flood watch. I'm meteorologist Scott Martin. Thanks for watching. Stay dry and God bless.